Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm Renee. I recently went vegan and cruelty free and I love makeup. So stick around if you want to hear me talk about that. First things first, normally I make my bed because it's in the background of me filming. Um, however, I have a cat and if you know cats or have a cat, uh, you know that you don't disturb them when they've chosen something to sleep on. And my cat was like, this out of place pillow is like the perfect place to sleep. So she's just gonna be chilling there. We're fine. I swear I, I make my bed normally. <laughs> uh, I, I maybe swear it. And also, uh, <laughs> my hair is really greasy today because I didn't want to shower because it's like my one day off. So we're all just gonna pretend we don't see it. <laughs> and it's, it all, all the grease is pulled back so you can't see it. Uh, please don't tell me otherwise, I'm sensitive. But yeah, so welcome back to my channel. Today I was like, let's continue my declutter series and get rid of my powder blushes because I have everything in like little Alex, like kind of basic Ikea drawers. And I'll insert like a picture of it um, so you can see like how everything's kind of like crammed in there. And I really want my blushes to fit in this little home. And I don't think that's unreasonable because who needs that many blushes, right? So <laughs> I've got 15 blushes. And I was thinking, you know, like 15's a little bit much, right? Like how much do you really need besides like a pink, a coral, orange, red, and like the finish that you like. You don't. <laughs> so uh, let's get rid of some. I don't have a goal except I'd love it to fit in here, but like some stuff I don't think, we'll see. We'll see. Let's start with one I, I know is gonna go. This is uh, the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues, and it's very pretty. It's just, Maybe a touch too plum for my personal blush tastes. I really like a lighter blush look um, and I like putting it like everywhere. <laughs> so I think this is just like a touch too light for me. I don't know if that made any difference. I just put some powder on my cheeks to hopefully get like that, that shine down, but I don't think it made that much of a difference. I think the blush that I'm using today is just like a little shiny. So I can't stop playing with my hair because I'm self-conscious about it being dirty. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we keep it real on this channel. But uh, it's just not my, my preferred tone of blush. Um, and I, I know some people that this would look like really pretty on. So I'm just going to pass this along. It's, it's kind of easy for me. Um, another one that's like pretty easy for me is this Wet n Wild in Mellow Wine. And so I have the Wet n Wild. Oh, I almost dropped it. Oh my God, if it's shattered, does that count as me hitting pan? Um, but I have the Wet n Wild uh, blush in the same like collection the color icon collection and apricot in the middle and they're honestly pretty similar tones and I dislike this blush like it's I might like mellow wine better because what I dislike about this blush is kind of that sheen to it it's what I'm wearing today and it's got kind of like a gold sheen to it which isn't evident in the pan um and it's also not getting anywhere closer to hitting pan ever I don't think I'll actually ever even hit pan on this let alone by December um, I'm still convinced fairies come at night and fill it up, but I don't want to like be carrying around an average blush that I don't reach for, that I don't like the other one in the formula that I'm trying to use up. Like I don't need two of these is my point. And Mellow Wine's not the one in my uh, project pan and they're not cruelty free. So goodbye, Mellow Wine. It was nice having you for like one second. <laughs> Apricot in the middle, we'll have to say because it's in my project pan, but after December, I've already vowed I'm getting rid of it, pan or no pan, so. Then I don't have any Wet n Wild blushes in my collection and I won't feel bad about it because they're not cruelty free. Two that are definitely staying are my M Cosmetics uh, Heaven's Glow Blush in Faded Clementine and Magic Hour. I think these are the only two shades they have and they look like this. One is like a lot more neutral orangey and one's like a lot more like light pinky. This one's Magic Hour. This one's Faded Clementine. Oh my God. When I tell you that these are my favorite blushes, these are my favorite blushes. Like the color is absolutely like the perfect colors of blush. Like I think if I were like getting married soon, I would want to wear one of these <laughs> just because they're so flattering. The shine that they give it like really does make it look like it's like the golden hour outside. Like it's angelic and you get so much product in here. They are vegan and cruelty free. So I would really recommend these and I'm definitely keeping these in my collection. So that's two leaving, three staying. I feel like what I should do is empty this and see like, 
See, already that kind of takes up a lot of room. Um, these two might be exempt because I have another place that I've been putting them in my drawer. But I'd like for them not to be exempt, but then we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Quit pressuring me. I would really, in the past, I haven't been doing my declutters focusing on what's vegan and cruelty free and what's not. But I think I might pay more attention to that just because I do like talking about and wearing things that are vegan and cruelty free. And like repurchasing those and like giving those kind of an extra like bump because I have a lot of the non-vegan and non-cruelty-free products from before I made this decision that I would like to use up because it doesn't mean they're bad products just because they're not vegan or not cruelty-free. But I would rather have a collection that's as close to vegan and cruelty-free as possible. So if it's between two options and I'm like, eh, one or the other, I would rather pick them as vegan and cruelty-free. So I might give credence to those if that makes sense. I have this blush from Flower. Uh, Flower is cruelty free. This is Warm Hibiscus uh, PB4 powder blush four maybe, and I do like it. And I do. I bought a bunch of stuff from Flower. Honestly, none of the stuff that I bought from Flower. Uh, actually, I take that back. There's a lipstick that I reach for over like any of my other lipsticks. But like while I do enjoy this blush, it's, it gives me that same issue that the... Uh, while I do enjoy this blush, it gives me the same problems that I have with my apricot in the middle where it's kind of like golden pinky. Um, but it is really pretty. I just personally don't like that kind of gold shift on top of my blush. So I think I'll pass this one along as well because I think like this would be an absolutely beautiful color on some of my friends or Laura, Brianna, whoever wants it. One that I will be keeping and this is like really sad. <laughs> I almost don't want to show this. This is my Marc Jacobs uh, air blush in lines and last night. Don't love that name. It's a little too cheeky for my tastes, but um, I dropped it on my floor one time and it completely shattered and then I had to like repress it. But this honestly kind of reminds me, let me swatch these next to each other. They might be really, really similar. They are not similar. I lied to you. Um, the lines in last night is a lot like more Barbie bubblegum pink than the Flower Beauty is more of like a coral. But I, I love this blush. I love the color, I love the formula, Marc Jacobs. The Beauty brand is cruelty free. The perfume brand is not. So I will be keeping this. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where to go next because like I don't want to have to give anything away, but I know I should. Um, I have two Becca blushes. One is in Snapdragon and one is in Songbird. Songbird is a mineral blush. Snapdragon is a luminous blush. So Snapdragon is like this pretty bright pink, which I love. And Songbird is this kind of neutral orangey tone, which I also love. I love both of these blushes. The thing that I don't love about these blushes, I do really appreciate them for traveling. I think the packaging is nice. What I don't like is they're too pigmented. And I know that sounds weird, but you have to be really careful when you put them on your brush, not to pick up way too much and just get like a big blob of color on your cheek. I tend to prefer blushes that are a little bit less pigmented right off the bat so that I can build them up to my desired color. I feel like they kind of blend out on the cheeks a little bit easier and uh, these are more pigmented, but if you like a more pigmented blush, I would really recommend this line. And Becca is cruelty free as well, but I don't think that those are vegan. I could be wrong though. It's all always all linked down below everything I mention or I'm wearing and whether it's cruelty free or vegan. I have this NARS duo. And it's got this blush and highlight. And I honestly, I really like, let me see if I have anything that kind of dupes it. No, I honestly, I really like the blush. And while NARS is no longer cruelty free, I do think I will keep it uh, because I don't have anything similar to this color in my collection. And I do like NARS blush formula. And I do like the highlighter that goes with it as well when I'm in the mood for kind of like a more icy pink look. So this isn't one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I have enough room for all these in my little tray. Okay, so, so far it looks like this. <laughs> um, one that I'll probably give away is this Pixie by Petra uh, blush in Beach Rose. It is really pretty and I really like it. If I didn't have to, mm, we're getting, it's getting difficult here. I'm not, I'm not loving this. So I have five blushes left. I think I am gonna put these two back in their original spot and then make sure that the rest fit in 
in here. How many can I keep? <laughs> okay, so one is left out right now. So, between the last five, I have to get rid of one. So, I think I will definitely keep my hourglass mood exposures. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mood exposures. That's the shade. I'll keep my hourglass ambient lighting blush in mood exposure and in diffused heat. Diffused heat looks like this. I love this color. It looks like that on my hand. Absolutely stunning. Mood exposure. I put right underneath it. It's like a little bit more neutral. Love these blushes. Hourglass is vegan. Hourglass is cruelty free. Um, so I'll definitely keep these because I do love both the blushes, the formula and the color. Um, so they can stay. Now the three that we have left are my California by Benefit. Pros to keeping, um, not super many. I do like the color. The color is nice. Uh, it's very summery. Cons to keeping, not cruelty free. Uh, massive packaging. The blush is like way down in there. Don't understand that choice at all. Take. I may be able to keep more blushes <laughs> if I get rid of this thing because it's so massive. We've got this Pixie by Petra blush. Uh, pros to keeping, pretty neutral. So it could go with a lot of looks. Uh, I don't think I have anything color wise to dupe this currently in my collection. Cons for keeping, I don't really reach for it ever probably because i forget about it and i don't really wear neutral blushes milani luminoso pros to keeping beautiful color beachy summery hmm yet this one is cruelty free and the packaging isn't nearly as obnoxious it even still is a mirror okay well I already said I was going to give uh, preference to my cruelty-free blushes. I feel like these are similar enough in tone to give me the same effect. Milani, the Milani one is cruelty-free and while they're not like exact dupes, I feel like they give me the same look on the face. So we'll keep the Milani one and then we'll keep the Pixie one because I don't have anything in a similar color. And then they all fit in my little tray. And then the California one, I know I have friends who like Brianna, I think would look absolutely fantastic in this. So I'll pass on those four and I'll keep two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which I think is a lot more manageable and reasonable. Oh, 11, my project pan one too. Um, so yeah, that's it. That I decluttered four blushes and I feel good about the four that I decluttered and all that I'm keeping. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like on the video. If you want to see more, subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!